Well, Happy New Year, everybody. What a year it has been so far, let me tell you. Yes. Uh, do you want to tell your story as to why there has been a lack of videos from uh, both of us collaborating in terms of this and streams? So the last video I did at all was um, the Sonic Adventure 2 review. Which I we ended were... up like editing insanely, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um. This is gonna go back to the original format because neither of us have footage of this game. But yeah, no, we I can't. I don't have it on PC right now. If I, I did, I would. I don't have um a PC that can record for a damn so. Yeah. So any other games in the future that we can do that will have like a ver way I can record it, you know, I'll do that. You know, I don't have a problem like sorting things out. But, but we'll uh, see. we record that Song of Adventure two video. December 30th, 2022. Yep. And I was already, you might have heard it in my voice, I was kind of hoarse. I wasn't really feeling that well. It was more so towards the later half of the video. Where you really started to, you know, show it. I, um, I got extremely ill the next day. From what? Extremely oh. ill. I'm not going to tell them what I had. I'm oh. not going to, I'm not going to get that first one. Okay. Um, I couldn't talk, couldn't move, not a goddamn thing, so I just kind of spent New Year's Eve crying in my bed. <laughs> and, yeah. And uh, when I was finally able to get out of bed, uh, two days later, um, <coughs> I, um, still couldn't really talk. And I'm finally now kind of getting over it. It's a little bit of a cough, but I could breathe, so. Thank God, right? So, Scary. enough of all that. Today, with uh, the sequel on the horizon, I think this year is when they said it's coming out, we're going to talk about Insomniac's Spider-Man. And let me tell you, I when I heard who the developer was, I knew it was going to be good. I just was like going in there, not with any massive expectations, other than it's going to be a really damn good game. I think it was our first Insomniac game we're talking about. Yeah, we didn't talk about Spyro yet, did we? No, no, we didn't. So um, this was Ins Insomniac. It's actually, honestly, probably one of my favorite developers because their games are usually pretty top-notch. Yeah, I don't really think that they've had any stinkers, really. I mean, maybe, all what was that four-player Ratchet and Clank game? And maybe Resistance 3? Yeah, I've never played the Resistance games. I played the first one. I didn't know they made Resistance. Yeah, they did Resistance. You know, with all the, uh, thing, bitching with Sony about not having, like, with Call of Duty, why don't they just make a new Resistance game and make it their Call of Duty? Ooh. That'd be interesting. And somebody would take another knack at Resistance game. That'd be, uh, that'd be interesting, but... <laughs> They got uh they got approached by Marvel. And Marvel's like, hey, you guys want to make a game about one of our characters? And they were like, can it be Spider-Man? And they were like, yeah. So Magic began. Yeah, so they they decided to pick Insomniac decided to do Spider-Man. Marvel just wanted to make a game. And they were like, Spider-Man. So here we go. And I don't even think Marvel expected it to come out as good as it did. This, first things first, Spider-Man is the highest selling game on the PlayStation 4. Really? Yeah, I just checked this number like yesterday. It outsold God of War. Uh, how, do you know how many units? 20 million. Holy fucking shit, dude. That's pretty big for a PlayStation title. That's, I think, the highest selling superhero game. Does it shock me? Yeah, it's uh yeah, so Spider Man is number one with twenty million and God of War is number two at nineteen and a half. So they're neck and neck. Remember when this happened with Batman Ar uh Arkham Asylum probably being one of the highest video game, you know, franchises at the time, yeah, superhero wise. Sp Spider Man! Woo! I think that whole series has sold like thirty three million copies so far and it's only two games. <laughs> and if you <laughs> 
does you said on PS4 only, right? So imagine what the PS5 sales are like. Well, the PS5 version is only available on the um, Miles Morales Ultimate Edition. You can't get that physically by itself. Nope. Wow, that's kind of fucked. Yeah, I don't disagree. But yeah, I, still, I don't you like might that. be able to. You might be able to download the PS5 version. I'm not sure. Probably, yeah. Uh, if they don't do that, that's pretty fucked up. But when I saw the trailer for this, I was like, that's going to be the Arkham Asylum for Spider-Man. Seeing all the smooth animations of Spider-Man go jumping up like when he was going through like a cafe building. All right, getting this out of the way right now, this game is freaking gorgeous. Yes, it is. But like seeing Spider-Man do so many like realistic like animations didn't sync right with me at first, because I'm like, there's no way this could be real. This looks like a CG. But no! It was all real! Yeah, it was, and the game, I just ignored it pretty much for, until it came out, and then you you ended up getting me it. Because, I got that for you for your birthday, after yeah. the game the year edition came out, and you were like, fuck, this game's awesome. Yeah, I know, I did 100% it, um, I did Miles Morales, I think. But, I a hundred. I I got the platinum trophy for the first game, but not for Miles. Miles won't take it as long. It's a smaller game. But circling back, um, Spider Man has had kind of a what is that? A renaissance to, choice? Or has that... had like a seesaw career when it comes to video games. It goes up and down, up and down, up and down. so. Yeah, like I can say it went started from Buffalo shit with the Atari game. Thanks, AVGN. For then it skyrocketed when the PS1 game came out. Yeah, that was its first renaissance. Um, which they had a pretty solid run up until the Spider Man 2 game, the movie. Yeah, and you know, uh, I loved the first Spider Man game on PS1, especially, uh, the Dreamcast version, just for the novelty. That game's great. That's still, yeah. I mean, it's not an open world Spider-Man game or anything, but it's a it was a pretty fun brawler for the time. Yeah, and it, in terms of exploration of those areas, it was so cool. But uh, if you're gonna play it, definitely get Dreamcast because it just looks better too. You might have some <laughs> control problems, but get it on PC if you get the PC version. Get the PC version. Oh yeah, you can just get a controller. Yep. Okay, there you go. I don't know if it'll run on modern, modern PCs, but you could just emulate it. There you go. Um, yeah. There was the sequel, Enter Electro, which I don't think was as good, but it was still pretty solid. I liked it. It was I played that first as a kid, so I probably had some bias towards it, but I, whenever I replay any of those, I usually play the first one the most. They uh, did a, then they did a, a third game in that style, but it was based on the the, the first movie. I didn't like that game. I didn't mind it. I, I just sucked at it, probably. Then there's a Spider-Man 2 game, which is where they started going open world. Yeah, I didn't play that one. I didn't Ult- play- then there was Ultimate Spider-Man, which I actually liked a lot when it came out. I hear a lot of good things about that game. And after that is where it all started going back downhill. Yeah, I played Spider-Man 3 on the PS2, so give me some mercy. Oh, jeez! I actually, what's fucked up is it was a rental, and I enjoyed it, surprisingly, 100% of it. I played so, the Wii version. It sucked. I played the 360 version. It was a little bit better. I heard the PS3 version is just, like, jank. I've never played the PS3 version. At one point, it was pretty expensive, but anyway. I might get it just for completion's sake, because it's the only modern Spider-Man game I don't have. Um, Weird. After that, they um they got a new developer, Beanox, who made um Shattered Dimensions, I think is what it was called. Well, that's weird because they ended up making Crash Team Racing that uh, Yeah, they had like it was a Spider Man game where you could play as four different Spider Men. Uh never played it. It was okay. Then they did a sequel, Edge of Time, which was stupid. Never played it. Then they did the two amazing Spider Man games. Never played them. Which one was okay, two was one of the worst Spider-Man games ever made. 
What's funny is those are on the way you. <laughs> I thought it was fun. <laughs> should, should I just buy them just for collector's sake? Go for it, man. I so mean, they're cheap. So then uh this game came out. And um I didn't think it was gonna have the Spider Man Activision stigma because Insomniac put a lot of effort into this game. And it shows. They always put like I was see I was seeing people that I know don't normally game hype for this game. Yeah, because it just looks so damn fun regardless of who it was. Especially if you have a PC now, you can turn into any character you want, probably. You could be Shrek swinging through the city. Yeah. And then the background is playing somebody once oh man, the world was fucking weird. Anyway. <laughs> They keep making all these mods for us. But and I mean the game when it came out, everybody was playing it. Everybody. Yeah. And like when the game starts and you're just swinging and you're like, oh my god, this is Spider Man. Like I am Spider Man. Yeah, it literally starts out with you playing the game. No bullshit. No super stupid. No stupid long tutorials. Just right, go. like I'm gonna go web swing. <laughs> he uses web on toast. Why? Yeah, because he's Spider Man. <laughs> he, he 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 eats the web remains. Yes. Okay. He he is a spider. <laughs> he eats he eats his own nut. I don't want to talk too much about the story of this game. Me neither, because it's still relatively new, and people probably are like, Spider-Man 2, huh? Maybe I should go play the first one. Uh, yeah, exactly. I'll, we'll circle back to Spider-Man 2 toward the end, because I do want to talk about that a little bit. I give uh, games, like, a 10-year limit. Like, after 10 years, you can spoil the shit out of the game. But you will, um... You will see some Spider-Man villains, um... That you would you would expect. Like the main villain you could see coming from a mile away. Um There are some really deep emotional moments in this game though. Like this game hits you in the feels. Makes you go, oh shit, son. I really have to do this. Like you I'd argue you feel more like Spider Man in this game than you felt like Batman in the Arkham games, if that makes sense. Well, yeah. Because um, you, you dive more into Spider-Man as a person than you did in the Batman games. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I always just felt like I was watching Batman rather than like experiencing myself through Spider-Man. But like the cool thing about this is you do also have like a Peter Parker angle to the game, too. It's not just like you're always Spider-Man. No, there are times you gotta be Peter. Yes. And deal with his personal life. There are also times you gotta play as Mary Jane and Miles Morales in stealth sections. Yeah, I don't hate them, but they're not bad. They're not the most fun part of the game. However, the web swinging. Uh, uh, it's so good. Like, you go so fast. Especially if you get the PS5 version. Oh, man. It, it's butter smooth, my dude. And, um... So you have, um... You have your, your main your main storyline, obviously. You also have a bunch of side stuff to do. Yes. Like, a lot. There's a lot of side stuff. Dude, I've done it all! I have not yet. <clears throat> if I ever do, I'll just play the PS5 version, but... I just... There's so many games I want to play right now that I missed on. Your save data will uh, copy over if you PS5. Fuck yeah! You okay. can import. You can import your saves. So. Well, that's handy dandy. And actually, when you do that, you unlock all the trophies you unlocked the second time. So I just like when I first loaded the PS5 version, I immediately got a platinum. It just ting <laughs> ting. <laughs> my poor power level is going up uh, the combat system is a lot like Arkham but it's a hell of more aerial oriented and very slippy and slidey but not it, slidey you know what I mean 
it's fast. You're zipping underneath their legs, jumping like over their head, around their body, and you're then like like say you just like dodge under them, then you can grab an item and then like whip it right behind you and bam, yeah, or you big, can swing it around, hit all the enemies, and then bam, break it down. It's a, crazy. A, a big difference is um Batman counters, right? Yep, Spider Man doesn't he, really he, do he dodges. It's so satisfying because it keeps the flow going. I mean, like, you don't feel like you're skipping a beat. Like, you're just bouncing back and forth, like, hop, 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 web swing, throw a door at you. Hey, hey, by the way, I'm going to take your gun and throw it at you. Ugh. Yeah, it's pretty freaking nuts. Like, However, much with terrain that, that they can work with. With that, the game really isn't that difficult. Except um, for maybe trying to do stealth. Even that's not that bad. It could be a pain your first time if you're doing like those uh hol hologram missions. Oh yeah. 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 But the game also doesn't really like really punish you too hard if you fuck up the stealth generally. No, there's no mandatory things where you have to sneak unless you're doing one of the other characters. Like if you're doing a main story section and you wanna just sneak for a bit and then be like, hey, screw it, I'm gonna go beat the shit out of everybody, go ahead. Yeah. It's and... not a dead sentence like in the Arkham games where, like, you know you know what I'm talking about in the Arkham games you have the stealth sections. Yeah. If you decide, yeah. I'm just going to beat the shit out of everybody, you're dead. Um, but... Yeah, like, an alert will go off and then it'll just, like, kill one of the people or something. That was an Arkham Asylum. But in this, most of the areas are not built for tech regular stealth. But in Miles Morales, I've found more areas that are, like, built for that because they're challenges. So unless they're a challenge, and they're built for it, honestly, it's a hit and miss with the uh, doing stealth. You may get it, you might not. Also, or the likely boss, you won't. The boss fights are actually pretty solid in this game. Yeah, you think it, they'd just be a damage sponge, but no, they actually have phases. There's strategies to them, and yeah. you need to figure out their tactics and stuff. Like you can't just beat them up. You gotta actually be. You actually gotta be like, oh, I gotta do this thing and then do this thing. Okay, I see. I see. Memory's a little foggy, but don't you have to take have Rhino run into electrical things or something? That's a Miles Morales. And that's a reference to the first Spider Man game when yeah. you fight him. Yeah, that's so weird. But um, you could also unlock a bunch of costumes for this game. There are a lot of costumes in here. Oh, yeah. One that they did not put in is the black suit. Really? Yeah, the, the black suit is not in this game at all. Oh. There is a reason for that, and I'll talk about that at the end. <laughs> but I stink still Spider-Man was one of the best games for the PlayStation 4, honestly. Did you say stink still? What? I think you mixed, mixed the word still and think, and he said, I stink, st I stink still. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's not, well, I, oh my god. Well, I still think this is uh, one of the best games on the PlayStation 4, and even on the PS5. It's um, gonna be, it's gonna be a modern classic. Give it 20, 30 years, to be, it's gonna be, it's gonna hold up so well. Like, honestly, this is probably my favorite superhero game, even more so than Arkham City. Yeah, I I can agree with you there. It's a lot more satisfying, especially if you have a PS5 with the adaptive triggers. The adaptive at, triggers at 60 FPS. Oh man. Yeah, that slight like pull to the triggers or resistance on the triggers when you're swinging in the web is so nice because when you get to the really that like the very top of your swing. Like, the, the trigger releases all pressure. Yeah, it feels it, so good. It's like you're hitting zero gravity. It's like, oh, shit. Let me talk about something real quick. Um, yeah, go, go for it. The face controversy, guys. Let it go. I didn't even really pay attention to it, and I don't care. I, I, I couldn't care less. It doesn't affect the game. At all. <laughs> they changed it. They changed his face model. Whoop-dee-doo. 
Why? Who? And why should we care? I. They said it fits the fit. There. They said their reasoning was because he. It fit the voice better. And I hate to okay. tell you guys this. I kind of agree. Ooh. Ooh. Oh well. Yeah, but regardless, it's a fantastic game. If you haven't played it by now and you have a PlayStation, what are you doing? Like, go play this. Have a bad taste in games? Yeah, there is that. There is uh, that. So you have something to tell me or us about the black suit? Oh, no, we're not done. We got talking about Miles Morales next. Oh, yeah. So they announced... Um, as a launch title for the PlayStation 5, they were going to do a follow-up to Spider-Man, which is not Spider-Man 2, but rather Spider-Man Miles Morales. Okay. Basically, 1.5. It, it, yeah, pretty much. Um, to be honest, I wasn't initially that stoked for it, because I was like, I want an actual sequel. And that it, it, the first one pretty much just came out. But at the same time, I was like, you know what? The first game was really good. There is no reason not to try out Miles Morales, especially on new console. Um, it was supposed to be, uh, 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 you know, only on PS5, but it did end up getting a PS4 port because, you know, pandemic I, hit. The, well, they straight up said right from the beginning, this wasn't a full sequel. Oh, I know. No, I'm telling the audience. Um. Oh. That this wasn't a full sequel. It was kind of like Uncharted Lost Legacy type of thing. Uh, what was that? Oh, that was like a side story, right? Yep. I feel I th I think they wanted to get a game out while they were working on um Spider Man Two. Don't uh, let that dissuade you though. This game was not a rush job. Um, hell no, they they built a, about a lot of what was in the first game, but. They had, some, they had some pretty good, interesting things to do. It They clearly still put a lot of effort into this game. And Miles Morales, for all intents and purposes, is a really solid game. Yeah, and the character himself, really damn good, too. Yeah, I've never been a big Miles Morales fan. And then I played this game. I, just, I never really do anything about him. I was um, just like, okay. Gameplay-wise, it is almost note-to-note, -note the last game. But they did add a new ability called the Venom Strike. Which, when you hear Venom in Spider-Man, you think of, you know, Venom. Yeah. But, no, he, he has, like, lightning powers. Um, A major difference between Miles and Peter is Miles physically is actually weaker than Peter. His attacks do less damage than Peter's do. I um, know that. P Peter can take most enemies down in one combo. Yeah. Miles usually takes like two or three. So they actually, because he has the Venom powers, they made him physically weaker to compensate. Interesting. It doesn't matter! Those Venom powers will destroy a room! <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This was the first game I played on PS5. I played it on the, uh, the the default normal difficulty. I died once. I died a decent amount of times with the first one. Uh, no, I mean, the, the first game I died a couple times. Miles, I died once. I don't remember dying much, if hell. I think it was just against the final boss, so I hadn't figured out the pattern yet. Although I did clip through a building. Yeah, this game is a little bit buggier than the first one. Well, it was kind of my fault for how I did it. And it's not, like, super buggy or anything. Like, no, all, that was all, all games have glitches, but this this game is very polished. There's just, oh, yeah. like, he had the same problem with Sonic Frontiers. <laughs> Who? You. What are you talking about? The Wyvern boss fight. When you yeah, went to the, moon. You know, the very beginning of the game where they have the first like uh, ring dash area. Didn't no? Didn't you go to the moon fighting wyvern? Yeah, yeah, but besides that, the very first area of the game they have the area where you ring dash, right? 
Okay. I, I, I didn't know how to ring dash to click the stick him. So I just jumped over there. And to get farther, I used the punch button. And I ended up using, like, the spin attack thing. And I was, like, kind of jammed near the wall. And I just kept spinning down, down, so super slowly. I just sat there looking at the screen for a good, like, minute or two. How do these things happen to you? I don't know, man. Um... Miles Morales. I'm a, I'm a Sonic hero, that's why. As a game, as a story, it's bolt it's smaller in scale and in length than the previous game. Yeah. yeah. It's more of Peter the game the first game felt like a personal story and that he was saving the city. This one uh-huh. feels more like a personal mile story. Rather than everything's in danger. Type. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, at the end of the game, the scale does amp up. But for most of it, it's a very personal Miles Morales story. Rather than, I'm Spider-Man and I gotta do Spider-Man things. Um, I mean, there is a big threat. Big, big, big threat. But it doesn't I mean, feel as like the, not the, massive. The, the, the main villain of this game... As nowhere near on the level of the main goal of the first game. So, make of that what you will. I'm not... Should I tell them who the main villain is? Uh, first one? Oh, the first game, the main villain... Play the game. But Yeah, play the game. The main villain of the first game is a lot more of a threat... Than the main villain in the second game. Well, well, not we the actual, know. not the map, not the actual second game. The Miles Morales. We but, know not what lies beyond for Spider-Man Two. Uh, we're going to talk about that. Uh, Miles is still a very, very good game. And if you have a PS5, get if you get the Ultimate Edition, you get the first one upgraded for PS5. Pretty sweet, dude. Yeah, so it's basically, for the price of one game, you get two really solid Spider-Man games. You'll maybe get your case wet and ruin the special in-case artwork. Yeah. So, Spider-Man 2 is set to launch this year. I think around September-ish is the rumor. Um, Wouldn't Wouldn't be surprised. Take and the, um, take all the fucking time you need. The thing about the second one that's making me super stoked for it: one, you play as Peter and Miles, so you play as both of them. Oh. But they got whew. All right, so there's some there's gonna be some spoilers uh, here at the end. Yeah. Um, spoiler here. You're, you're warned. At the ending of the game, of the first game, um, you found out that Harry Osborn is very sick. Norman goes to Norman Osborn goes to check on him, and he's wrapped up in this black substance. Okay. The trailer for the second game shows you Venom. Yeah. So, so Venom is here, and but woo. how? But how? I'm curious. Uh, I, we don't know how it's gonna happen. I have my theory. Um, and I'll just go ahead and put it out there. I feel like Harry Osborn is not going to be Venom. I could see him being evil. So, what I think is gonna happen. Is that early in the game, you're going to find Harry with the suit on. The suit's going to move from Harry to Peter. Oh, boy. And then Peter's going to get the black suit. Halfway through, he's going to get rid of the suit. And the suit is going to go on to Eddie Brock. Yeah. And there's Venom. 
da, da. and I really want them to treat Venom kind of like um, Nemesis or Mr. X from Resident Evil. Where he's this <laughs> monster that's just stalking you. And you can't do anything about it. Yeah, you can't beat him. Like, they need to make him scary and monstrous. And I know Insomniac's gonna... Oh, I'm so ready for Venom. Like, he just stalks you throughout the city. Like, and you don't know when he's coming. Because one of Venom's powers is he blocks the spider sense. All you'll get is a musical indicator just getting from really quiet to louder. And then you're like, oh, fuck, Venom! Gotta get out of here! Yeah, and, then and if you're playing can't... with head- headphones, you could have, like, spatial sound. Like, hear him breathing or something? Yeah. I oh, your, con- your controller. I really hope they treat him like a monster nightmare. Yeah, that'd be pretty dope. But, we'll have to see. Um, anyway, thank you guys very much for watching our Spider-Man video. I hope you enjoyed it. And stick around, because next time we, we will be discussing... Um, what the hell will we discuss? Well, you have a list. Super Smash Brothers! Yay! I don't know how many... I don't know if we're going to do the whole series. That's a lot to talk about. But... We'll see what happens if we get to Melee, after Melee. Anyway, thanks, guys. Take care. I should probably end the recording now, huh? Yeah, probably. All right, bye, guys.